All right, doing this isometric drawing. Hopefully most of you would be able to draw the little block story over here with the sloping side. Um, what normally stumps you guys is how to draw that hexagon over there and that little square hole that goes through this thing. Right, um, to draw that hexagon, they've given you a length of 20 millimeters for the side. At this stage, I hope that you know that if you set your pair of compasses to a radius of 20 millimeters, put some center lines on, draw a circle going round, and then you can take your set square, go to that point where the center line goes through the, the circumference, draw a 60 degree line there, draw a 60 degree line there, and draw that across there. And that gives you the distances from the center to the corners over there, and from the center to the middle of this side over here. Right, if you look over here, you can see the center to the middle of the side over there. Um, I need to get that measurement over there off my auxiliary view. Take your pair of compasses, set them to that length over there. And then you need to find your center lines over here. All right, finding your center, um, probably the easiest way, send a line, construction line going out at 30 degrees there. Drop a line going down here at 90 degrees. Where they intersect over there, you can draw a line going back at 60 degrees, and that will give you a center point on that line over there. Draw a line going straight down, center line going straight down, draw a center line going across, and draw a center line going that way. Once you've got that, you can then take that measurement that we've just taken off the centers over here, bring it across to the center over here, place it down, and you can then draw a construction line going back over here. And on that line, I can then measure off the distance from the midpoint of that line, that distance over there, go in there, measure that off on that side, measure that off on that side, give me a 20 millimeter line over there and the correct distance from the center of the um, hexagon. Right, I need to get this distance over here onto my drawing. If it's a center line distance, we know that it is an accurate measurement and I can take that straight off the center lines over there, bring it across to my center lines over here, make that mark over there, make that mark over there. Once I've got that in place, I can then draw in a line going across like that and a line going across like that to that new point. Right, once I've got that, you'll see that I have my hexagon drawn in place. I need to drop that hexagon down. It says that it drops down to that surface over there. Um, what I would suggest you do is to just get that distance. I'm just going to draw a construction line going across there, dropping a line coming down to that point over there, dropping a line coming down to that construction line, and you can finish that part off. Um, what you need to do then is to line your ruler up on that line over there, place another ruler underneath it, and slide that down. You can then drop a line coming down from that corner over there, and draw a line coming across at, that is parallel to that line. Once I've got that in place, I can then draw a line which goes straight the way across over there, and I can just finish that off by dropping that line over there. Okay, once I've got that in place, I need to find the center to the square that needs to be drawn. Um, we know the distance straight down. There is the center. You can see it links up over there. So draw in some center lines again for yourself. I'm gonna do them in orange over here. Long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, long dash. And I'm going to draw a center line going across here to get the center for my square. Now the square that they've given you it is at a weird angle over here, um, which normally stuffs you guys up. Um, what you need to do there is to just look at this idea of if I draw a little line going from the center to the midpoint of this line over here, okay? Um, I know that it's hit the center of that side over there, and it says that this measurement over here is 20 millimeters. In other words, this little length of line is 10 millimeters over there. If you can recognize this idea, that little angle over there and that little angle over there, they're both 45 degrees. I've got a 10 millimeter line there, 
And because this is an isosceles triangle, that length of line from the center to the midpoint over there is also going to be 10 millimeters. If I know that, I can then take my pair of compasses. I can set them to a radius of 10 millimeters. I go to the center of these lines over here and I'm able to draw a circle coming around like that. If I've got that in place, I can then draw tangents to that line, draw a tangent to the circle at least, draw a tangent to the circle, and you'll see that I'm drawing that square in and it will have those 20 millimeter sides that we need for that little square. All right, in other words, that distance over there is my radius of, my radius over here of 10 millimeters, or 10 millimeters. Right, if you've got that right, you can then use these measurements on the, from the center to that corner over there. Take that, plop it down on the orange center lines, make a little mark there, make a little mark there, make a little mark there, make a little mark there. And if you've drawn accurately, you should be able to draw a line which goes across like that. Go up to those lines over there, draw a line going across like that, and drop to 90 degree lines coming down like that, and like that, giving you the impression of a square in that point, in that part. Um, I also know that the, this square is a hole, and the hole depth is 10 millimeters. So I've got my 10 millimeters over here, 10 millimeters over there, I come across over here, and I mark off 10 millimeters coming down, and I can now draw a line going across 10 millimeters, going across like that. If you look at that, you can see the back side of that square, which is representing that hole. And there you go, that is your drawing done. Always remember, auxiliary views before you can do these views like that.